Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Training. In this tutorial, we will be downloading the Google Chrome browser driver and with the help of this browser driver, we will be invoking the Chrome browser and executing our test scripts. In the upcoming lectures, it will help us to run our first test script in Chrome browser. So let us begin. So the first step will be to download the browser driver. Let's head towards the Google. To download the browser driver, we need to go to the official website of Selenium, that is selenium.dev. Once we hit the URL, click on the downloads option here. Once you click, scroll down, scroll down. And here you can see one option, browsers. Click on the browsers. For multiple browsers, multiple browser drivers are available. For example, Firefox has its own browser driver, Internet Explorer has its own, and others are also available. We will be mainly focusing on Google Chrome. So click on the documentation under Google Chrome. Once you click, it will direct you to a new URL. Here you can see the latest versions, 92, 91. One important point to note here is to download a Chrome browser, you must be using the same version of the Chrome browser. So let me check which version of the Chrome browser I am using. Click on here, help and about Google Chrome. So I am using the 91 version of Google Chrome. So I will be downloading the 91 version of Google Chrome. Click on the win Windows 32 if you are using a Windows operating system or Mac or Linux according to your requirements. So I'll be clicking on the v Windows 32 and the Chrome browser download has been started. All right, our browser driver has been downloaded. Now let's extract it. So I'll be extracting the browser driver and browser driver is successfully installed. So with the help of this Chrome driver, we will be invoking the Chrome browser. So let's go to the Eclipse for the project. To invoke Chrome browser, we will create a project, Java project. Invoke browser. All right. Click on next. Finish. Don't create. All right. Invoke browser project is completed. And now let's add a class file. All right, now let's try to write the code to invoke the Google Chrome browser. Now, before writing any code, we need to first understand what is a web driver. Basically, web driver is an interface which has all the methods available inside it which are used for the test execution of test cases. In short, we can execute a script with the help of web driver. So, we will be first checking which classes are available in the web driver go to google chrome and just type interface web driver yeah it's here okay once we click on the website these are some of the classes that are present in the interface web driver as i said web driver is an interface which has all the methods for execution so for the Chrome browser, we have Chrome driver from for Edge browser, we have Edge and for different browsers, we have different. So we will be first creating a driver object of the Chrome driver class inside our script. So let us create. So how do we create a object in Java? It is in this way with the help of new keyword. All right. Great, here we have simply created a driver object for the Chrome driver class, but that is not sufficient itself because we are implementing web driver. As the name itself suggests Selenium web driver. As I mentioned, web driver is an interface. So we need to give information about web driver to this driver object. So we will simply replace 
क्रोम ड्राइवर विद वेब ड्राइवर सो इट मीन्स वंस द ड्राइवर ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड वी विल बी इंप्लीमेंटिंग ऑल द मेथड्स ऑफ वेब ड्राइवर राइट नाउ इट इज गिविंग एरर बिकॉज वी डोंट है वी हैवेंट एडेड एनी डिपेंडेंसीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो I have clearly mentioned how you can download the Selenium jar files and how you can insert them into a project. So now I will be using that downloaded jar files into this project. So let me invoke let let me add some dependent uh, let me add some jar files. If you are facing any issues with the jar files, please mention in the comments. okay so once uh, the jar files have added uh, uh, hover over the mouse to chrome driver and you can see import chrome driver just click on that same with the web driver just click on that all right now one step is completed but we want to invoke the chrome browser and this step is not sufficient so we will be adding one more step and that is that is basically the path of the chrome driver and nothing else system dot set property is here all right all right now do not worry i'll explain this what it is web driver chrome dot driver and in this section we will be adding the path so earlier we have downloaded the selenium uh, browser driver now this time we will be giving it the path just click into it just right click properties and get the file location all right yeah but and add the name of the driver what is it it is chrome driver chrome driver and we have to add the extension also dot exe all right selenium provides some properties for every browser for the chrome browser the property is called web driver dot chrome dot driver and this property is defined in chrome driver class so this property expects the location of chrome dot exe file thus as a result we must set this property with the location of chrome.exe these two steps are common for every test script that you want to execute with the help of these two steps a chrome browser will be invoked so right now i will be invoking one chrome browser run as one java application so we haven't defined any url so the browser will be blank but all we wanted is to open up a new browser all we wanted is to invoke a brand new chrome browser in the next lecture we will be running our first chrome test if you guys like this please share and if you need any help with this please mention in the comments thank you and stay tuned